Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you the Dream UX MDK ROM version 3.9 beta and this is a beta update over 3.8 so I had, I was like making the nameless ROM video so I will flash both of the files so if you are on 3.8 version just flash the 3.9 thing I will show you all in this video so let's go and also the review and installation so let's start okay here Let's boot the device into recovery mode by pressing the volume up button, the home button and the power button. Let's go to wipe and wipe delve cache data and system. I will go to install the MDK 3.8 the SESC multi indian variant and the mdk 3.9 beta patch let it install and okay, it will start the uh, aroma installer as always and backup efs So you can see the complete procedure here, MDK ROM, 99% it's stuck. So, uh, it's taking time, I don't know why. Okay, yeah. So first main reboot will take some time and boot loop may happen, so don't worry. Next, reboot device uncheck and flash the other two files. Okay, it will automatically get flashed. And now just reboot system. So let's see the boot logo is the S8 one. And I will show you after this uh, reboot of what else is in this ROM. Let's go then and wait for the ROM to boot up. Okay, this is the logo. Normal one. Let's see what happens. The it. ROM is booted up and let's see what we get inside is the new S8 launcher we saw in the nameless ROM that the widget was themed to S8 okay so in this S8 launcher it's set to okay home screen only just go to home and I have screens and this is it so there's a lag while operating the S8 launcher here the nameless ROM on the nameless on the asset launcher worked very perfectly without any issues lagging issues but this is some lag and here is a no good bar and it actually works now this time in the brightness uh, here it actually works what is this here it doesn't work and let's jump into settings and see what is it the mdk rom version 3.9 beta as you can see 
in the ROM version and uh, like me this is the ROM developer so thanks for you for developing this wonderful ROM and SMG955 Edge so this is S8 plus <laughs> the clock icon everything is themed and the gallery has the old one only so no new apps compared to uh, it's some deep loaded with some Samsung members and all time removed now let's jump into settings again to go into device maintenance let's see what is the storage available in the nameless ROM we get only a 7.6 GB storage same here 7.6 GB storage is available so there is nothing uh, like deep comparison a normal comparison can tell you voltage here voltage is working really fine no issues about the voltage so as I flashed the uh, Indian CSC after the Dream MVX 3.8 ROM it works flawlessly and now all these apps are working just some gallery uh, thing uh, developers noticed but it works for me great nothing issues okay again let's go into settings into device maintenance let's go into battery and we get this power planning too battery usage everything data and let's go to RAM and let's clear it the existing MB and let's see how many MB we get in this MDK ROM and I'm going to also give the uh, end to benchmark test okay 549 MB pretty good not pretty good very well than the nameless ROM nameless ROM only 400 MB RAM and this is giving 549 MB which is really better for gaming purposes that fly shitty let's go inside and calendar icon all are old so no new icons present in this version for the mdk i don't know what the official version 3.9 will get and okay here we get everything all the toggles same as the nameless rom and wi-fi calling too if you have a geo sim card you can see that advanced features same as the thing just two of these things are not available everything is same so all apps are same like nothing is changed just go to camera same camera it has yes same everything so I don't need to click pictures I have already to hold that camera bar so this was the review of the MDK 3.9 now let's see the end to benchmark test here here yes yeah, let's go here and yes so I have done the enter the benchmarks and this is the score I got 39.876 just less than the nameless ROM so yes the performance is weak and it facing lags and yeah one thing I observed after doing the benchmark the launcher has not stopped the system UI is responding still so this is a plus point so I think performance here is great the RAM is handling the system UI launch and everything very powerfully so uh, this was the uh, review for the MDK 3.9 beta update so I will give uh, the I will make a separate video on 3.9 official ROM so uh, this was just the update for the 3.91 so if you like this video please press the like button and if you don't like please press the dislike and give feedback in the comment section subscribe to my channel now and you can also press the bell icon if you are a j7 user you can press the bell icon so that you get instant notification updates and also please press the like button okay i already told you that and comment for any issues and help okay commenting is important because if you give a dislike and do not comment so i don't I cannot find out what why you dislike so please comment down below and goodbye nothing more to say bye